This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can flow text into a shape as you see that I've done here using Affinity Designer. So I'm going to open up a new document and I'm going to create any random shape on the canvas. You can use whatever shape you'd like. I'm going to use a star for this demonstration. Let me just position that towards the center of the page like that. And now what I want to do is in order to flow text into the shape, I first want to make sure that I have the shape selected. So as you can see here, I have it selected. And now I'm going to come down here to the text tool and I'm going to click and hold on that so we get this little flyout menu. And I'm going to choose the frame text tool from this list here. And how this works is when you hover your cursor over the shape, you'll notice the cursor turns into a little polygon shape. Now outside of the shape, it's a box with the letter T in it. When you hover over the shape, you'll see the polygon with the T in it. Once you have the polygon, that is an indication that you are referencing a shape that you can flow text into. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to give us a little blinking cursor. And I'm just going to type in some example text here. This is how you can flow your text into a shape. Okay, so now if you notice here, the text is really large and it's spilled out of the shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it by pressing Control A. And I'm going to bring down the size of it up here by just rolling down the mouse wheel over this part right here. Okay, now let me take this right here. I'm just going to select it all and I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to paste it in here a bunch of times just so you can see how this looks with a bunch of text pasted in. Now, if you want to edit this text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control A to select it all. And then from here, you can bring the size up or down or whatever you'd like to do. And what you can also do is change the justify over here. By default, it should be aligned to the left. You can also align it to the center. You can align it to the right. Or what you can do is you can fit it to the shape so that it stretches out to all of the edges and it preserves the, the appearance of the shape that it's flowing into. Now, the downside of that is that you see some spacing between these letters here. So I would just recommend that you use whichever one you're okay with. You can use a line center like this. It gets rid of the spacing between those words and letters, but it, it doesn't preserve the actual shape like it does if you were to use that setting. Okay, so once you're done adding your shape here, I'm just going to get rid of this overflow text right here. Okay, so once you're done, let me go back to the select tool. Now, if you want to work with this further, you can change the color of this text like you would any other object. But if you go to scale this down, you'll notice that the shape is scaling, but the text is not scaling. The size of the text is not scaling with it. Okay, now if you want to scale everything together, you have to use this little node right here on the outside. Now, if you notice in the corners, you'll see your typical scaling handles. Outside here, you'll see a different scaling handle. If you use that, this will allow you to scale both the object and the size of your text at the same time while preserving those proportions. Okay, now by default, it locks the proportions, both the width and the height, so that it scales proportionately. But if you want to distort it, you can hold shift, and then it'll allow you to distort it like that. Okay, and once you're finished, creating your text in the shape, you can finalize it and convert it to curves by just clicking this button up here that says convert to curves. And there we go. Now that is no longer text that has flowed into a shape. This is actual, uh, this is an actual vector path now. If you notice, if you ungroup it here, you'll see all of the individual letters in those layers there. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about fitting your text inside of a, a shape using Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.